happy Tuesday. I am up. It is about 9.15. I've been up for um, about 45 minutes or so. I kind of let myself sleep in. Well, Sloan let us sleep in. Um, I've been fighting this headache for several days now. It started last, I want to say last Thursday was the first day that I woke up with the headache. And it's kind of just like come and gone all week and or weekend and then yesterday I started googling and Google got the best of me and I totally freaked myself out with like meningitis and like all these things that I I'm sure it's just the seasons changing um, we went from pretty warm weather to like chilly really chilly weather and I'm assuming that that has a lot to do with it because I do feel it kind of like my ears and my neck are kind of sore too with like back like drainage type thing so I'm sure that it's allergies but I freaked myself out and I ended up going to bed at like nine o'clock last night um so today I am relaxing I am just going to kind of try and keep it keep it easy um not do a whole lot <coughs> I do have a little bit of picking up that I have to do I have to like dust and vacuum the main part of our house and then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna lay low to try and kind of ward off this headache. I feel it slightly this morning. It's not bad, but I would prefer it to just go away rather than like get worse throughout the day. So that's that. Sloan is just hanging out over here. Um, like I said, she slept until about 8.30 and I could hear her in the monitor. So we got up, she got fed changed all the things and now we're watching really old below deck um i think it's a marathon today <laughs> so that's what i've got going on because uh below deck is on tonight i believe tuesday nights so is when the new se uh, season finally starts anybody else watch below deck on bravo it's one of our favorites matt's really into it too and we have to check up uh catch up on manifest tonight it was on last night but it started at 10 and this girl can't hang to watch something at 10 so um we do, we'll just watch it on Tuesdays and it's really cool because it's something that my mom is watching and my mom watches like all the shows bless you but I I don't I, Matt and I have this tendency of just like binging something on Netflix when we can watch like one episode after the next not watching things weekly because we forget about them so hopefully we can stick with manifest it was really good the pilot was super good um, I think I mentioned that in yesterday's vlog. I just, I would be afraid that it could get a little, like, super power-y, if you will. Um, and that might kind of steer me away from finding it intriguing, but we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start getting yesterday's and, um, spit out the words yesterday's footage into my computer so that I can start editing and uploading and be good to go. Okay, so it is about 11.40. I have, well, Sloan took a nap. I don't know if she was napping my last check-in. She's taken a small nap. She slept for about 45 minutes. We got her dressed, cleaned up, good to go for the day. She's hanging out in her extra saucer jumping. Um, as soon as I stopped, I started talking, she stopped, but she was being awfully noisy a few minutes ago. I'm working on editing today's vlog, um, which you guys, obviously, it'll be vlog, uh, vlogtober day two for you guys. So I have that going on. I'm on my second cup of coffee and pretty much it so I figured I would do just a really quick check-in like I said I'm keeping it super low-key today my headache has not gotten worse throughout the day which is typically what happens I kind of sort of still feel it there but it is getting better so fingers crossed that like tomorrow I'll be back to normal which will be really nice she's getting cranky um I'm gonna go tend to her oh boy okay so it is one about one o'clock I just got this whole area of the house vacuumed. My little vacuum died, so I had to plug it in so I didn't get down the hallway and into the bedrooms and stuff. But I got this area done. I wanna go over my kitchen floors one more time. 
it, I got them kind of done, but I'd like to do another round. Um, this little girl just had some bananas. I'm expecting her to probably want to go down for her second nap in just a little bit here. And I'll get some dusting done. Faye found herself a nice spot on the rug. Um, she loves that rug for some reason. And thank goodness it is machine washable because with it being light pink, it kind of shows... It, gets, it looks dirty, kind of, um, and the fibers of it are very much, like, they attract dust and dog hair and stuff, so that gets washed about once a week, um, so I'm just sitting down and hanging out with Miss Sloan while um, she plays after her bananas, and when she's down for her nap, I will probably, like I said, dust might throw myself together a little bit and actually get out of my pajamas. Um, I have some of her laundry going. I like to pre-soak that with some OxyClean just to get like any formula stains and things like that out of it. That seems to work really well. I've only had like one or two um, like sleepers or something that I can't get the formula stains out of. So if you are struggling with that too, I would suggest um, the powder OxyClean, I just put like half of one of the scoops into the washing machine. I set it to pre-soak um, and then I let it soak for about 35 to 40 minutes and then I run a full cycle and it seems to keep um, the majority of the stains out of her stuff. So just a tip there. Y'all are watching Bea. Um, but yeah, that's how I manage her laundry and I can keep most of the stains out. Sometimes I do have to go through and like actually spray and wash some things. Like um, one of her bibs today had banana all over it from yesterday that I didn't get to, like I forgot to rinse out after she ate. So I went ahead and just um, spray and washed that. I figured it's not directly on her skin, so it should be okay with using spray and wash. Um, but OxyClean has worked great for getting stains out. She hasn't had any reaction to her, like irritation with her skin. And then we use Arm & Hammer Free & Clear for her laundry soap. Um, I personally like Arm & Hammer for our clothes. That's my detergent of choice if I'm paying like full price for something. Typically, or right now, I'm trying to coupon more for detergents and things like that. So I've purchased a few different brands. But if I'm buying it, that's what I go for um, at full price. I definitely I like the Arm & Hammer. It has the Oxy in it. I think it works really well. Matt is kind of a messy individual. He always ends up with like pen on his shirt or he'll end up with food down the front of him or dirt from work um, on like his polos and stuff because he has to wear dress shirts to work. Polos, not really dress shirts. Um, and like he wears like khakis and things like that and he's constantly got like pen on them or things like that in between um, the spray and wash, the OxyClean, and the detergent, I'm able to get most of those stains out, which is nice. So, laundry talks with Caitlin. We all, in case you didn't know how to do your laundry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got going on. I'm, like I said, I'm expecting her to go down for a nap in a few minutes here, and then I will get myself pulled together. I do need to clean down the bathroom. I was noticing that like, the back of the toilet's getting kind of dusty um, from the, fan and just things like that so I like to do that probably every like three to four days typically about three days she's tired so I'm gonna lay her down and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit okay so it is two about 2 30 Sloan is I feel like she, it looks like she's always in this thing I swear she's not um, but she's definitely acting like she's tired again and she's been up only for like an hour but she's definitely acting like she's getting sleepy again so I'm gonna see if I can keep her up for a little bit and then I'll probably lay her back down for a nap. But I did go ahead and get myself together for the day. I quickly just ran my flat iron through my hair to kind of smooth it out and threw it back up in a ponytail. Um, put it on a little bit of makeup. Not a ton, just it is what it is today. I am making myself something to eat. So I still had some of that buffalo chicken dip left and I had a few, well I had, um, low carb tortillas. So I just wrapped the dip up in the low carb tortillas and then I put them in my air fryer at 370 for five minutes and they got nice and crispy and hot. And then I have some ranch that I'm gonna dip them in. Um, there's a, 
Weight Watchers, I think, recipe that's super similar to this, and I've made that in the past, so I figured, you know what? It uses up all the things that I need to use up, like that dip, and I mean, the carb, or the tortillas obviously have some carbs in them, but not terrible. So I'm gonna go and sit and eat this, um, play with Sloan for a little bit, see if I can get her to kind of chill out. I don't want her to go back down for another nap because then it kind of throws off her bedtime schedule. So we'll see um, what we can come up with. So that's that.